What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we're back at Insurance Auto Auctions for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. Number one is the thumbnail. How about, have you, when's the last time you've seen one of these guys? This is a 2002 Saturn SC. Now is it an SC1 or an SC2? I don't know. I think this might be an SC2. Let's take a look at the back. This thing actually looks pretty nice, guys. Saturn of Denver. This looks phenomenal. If you saw the damage, drop a comment below and tell me what you saw because I already showed it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, uh, that door check. That needs, uh, it needs a little assistance. I will go back and show you the damage here in just a minute in case you missed it because it is so minor. Guys, this car looks new. Aside from the door check, the interior is, aside from being a little dirty, it's perfect. Oh man, I can't tell you how many of these I've had in my day. Guys, this has got to be a low mileage car. It's an SC1. It's got no options, you know, no power locks, no power windows, which means it's got the single overhead cam motor. It's a man, wow. That's not even sloppy. Okay, this is a, this is gonna be a low mileage unit, guys. I don't know, what do you think, 60, 70,000 miles? Well, trying to find a needle. Oh, hey, no way, no way. 35,000 miles. This car, and yes, it is a six digit odometer. It is zero, three, five, zero, eight, four. 35,000 miles. I, I knew it was a low mileage unit. I didn't know it was that low mileage. Uh-oh. There we go. 35,000 miles. Guys, these things run forever. I, I mean, they even with an automatic transmission, they run forever. With a manual, it's even better. Air conditioning just kicked on. No way, man. Oh, I've got to get this. I've got to get this. This is this has got to come to the channel. It has to. It has to. An old GM. I love these. So here's the damage. All right. This fender took a, a slight hit and it cracked it. Remember, these are plastic. It cracked the fender. A lot of paint transfer. Transfer here, transfer here. This fender may possibly be able to be saved, but I'll bet you could find this color. I'll bet you could find this color at a junkyard. The other damage, a uh, little bit of paint transfer, maybe scrapage right here and right here. And and right there. And that that's it. That's it. Nothing that I can see that would actually affect the usability of the car at all. It's It's got a, a, a deemed fender and some scrapes down the passenger side. Now, this wheel's got a lot of transfer. That might clean up, it might not. Worst case scenario, you replace it. There may be a tad bit of suspension damage from whatever hit this wheel. It's got good tires all the way around. All the way around, excellent tires. That tire looks like it's angled maybe just a hair to the passenger side. And that tire looks like it may actually be straight. So I, I don't know. Maybe there's damage, maybe there's not. Either way, this is probably a car that's not going to go for a lot of money. Oh, wow. Look under the hood of this. Oh, man, this thing is in premium original condition. No joke. Duralas gold battery. You're looking at an almost new car. Almost, not quite, but almost new car from 2002. Only 35,000 miles on the odometer. Ice cold air, no warning lights on the dash. I love it. I've, I've had so many of these guys back in the day, way, 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 way back in the day, I used to flip cars. And believe it or not, I was actually, I was really good at it because I fixed my own cars. I did it in, the, in my driveway. I'd buy them broken. I'd do what needed done. Then I'd send them down the road. Guys, Saturns were my bread and butter. 
these things were my bread and butter. I couldn't keep these. As soon as I had them ready for sale, someone came and bought them. Like these cars used to just, I can't even get, now I can't even get the damn, ugh. oh, there's a, we'll figure it out later. I'm not gonna screw with it. It doesn't seem to want to, uh, to lift up. Oh, derp. There we go, that's why. I guarantee you it's still got the factory spare under there and everything, man. Probably never touched the ground. You got your factory Saturn floor mats. Are you kidding me? I know, I know, I get excited about the stupidest stuff, right? I mean, it's, it's an old Saturn, who cares? And I do, let's turn that off. It is cold today, guys. I'm gonna have to break out my brown jacket again soon. This is insane. Here's what else is insane. There's a slight vibration in the car. Now, every Saturn I've ever owned felt this way. At an idle, there's just this kind of annoying, you can probably hear it, vibration. Every Saturn. And I always thought, motor mounts. I'd replace motor and transmission mounts and I'd still have the same problem. Guys, this has 35,000 miles on it. It has the same vibration. <laughs> so I'm guessing the, these things actually felt this way from new. I, at that, I guess so, I didn't know that. I've never been in a Saturn with this low of mileage before, never. I'm gonna put it in gear, see if it goes forwards. It does, and backwards. Yeah, not a problem, clutch feels really good. And backwards one more time. Man, e-brake works, air conditioning works, radio works, you got your, your crank windows. Those will never break, guys. Those will never break. That's the that's the beautiful thing about this old car is uh, it'll never break. No key fob. Oh my God, look. This car used to belong to Randy. The name on the tag, can you guys see that? The name on the tag is Randy. No way, man. No way. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. This car belonged to Randy. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I see you, Saturn. Well, how about this, guys? Why don't we pull this up? I love the car. I love the color. Kind of that sunburnt orange or whatever. I, I, I want this. I really want this. I am certain there's gonna be a tad bit of suspension damage. I'm not overly concerned with any of this. The car itself looks great. Um, I would probably find this fender and just replace it. I think the bumper is totally savable, but that fender probably better just to replace it with one of the same color. For everything back here, I would try my best to buff this out, see if I can get all this transfer off. It's scratched up a little bit, and then I would buy some touch-up paint and the areas that I could not patch up, that I could not uh, get the transfer off, I would just touch it up and it'd look good enough. It's good enough. Guys, this is not an ex this is not a high dollar car. It will never be a high dollar car. I just want it to look decent. I would absolutely drive this car. All right, so why don't we throw a bid on this car? I, I have no idea what to bid on it. It ends in 23 hours. Current bid is 25. Let's do 550. Whoa, not 5,500, hold up. Let's do, <laughs> let's be very careful. And let's see if we can get this. Confirm pre-bid. And your pre-bid, your pre-bid has been submitted. And we are winning it for 150 bucks. There you go, $150 Saturn SC1. Next on my list, a 2013 Subaru WRX Premium with hail damage and super low miles on this one as well. I can clearly see the hail damage on this, but uh, you know, I don't know, could it still be usable? Sure, it's got some maybe fake carbon fiber all over it, maybe not. It might be real. It actually looks good. It's got those kind of titanium burnt tips, massive exhaust, looks good. It's lowered substantially. You can see it's definitely pretty low on the ground there, guys. I don't know, I, I think it kind of looks good. The hail damage is significant on this one. 
there is a lot of it but it is a really nice white paint job so it's going to help hide some of that the front bumper unfortunately this happens a lot when these things get loaded from place to place and tow trucks and everything uh, these bumpers especially on lowered cars like this get chewed up this bumper is all kinds of trash now it's barely even hanging on the car you got some missing pieces over here look at that yeah and it's it's just that's in bad shape so it's going to need another bumper let's take a look at the interior looks like it's got a it's got dunlop tires it actually it's a good looking car does it have power it does not as dead as a doornail look at these seats this thing is in beautiful condition especially for a 2013 at least on the interior anyway the interior's in in pretty dang good shape the key was left on which is why it's dead let's pop the hood obviously it's a texas car let's see if they got any aftermarket goodies under the hood this car currently is at 1125 bucks so if you think i'm gonna walk away from this one without putting a bit on it you're absolutely wrong so there's your adjustable coilovers other than the uh, other than su the suspension, it actually looks very stock, interesting. It has an AC Delco battery. That's that's different. Let's throw a jump on this bad boy. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, immediately the headlights come alive. So we got some things working here, guys. I kind of wonder if this thing rides like crap. I mean, this this is sitting really really low to the ground, guys. Let's turn off the AC. Make sure the radio's off. I'll scoot this seat up. No way. So I knew this was a low miles unit, guys. 20,000 miles. 20,000 miles on a 2013? GPS connected. GPS connected. What? Oh. It's got a dash cam. The whole, the whole, it's got a front and rear dash cam with like satellite. No way. Oh, I'd love to. Can we review the footage? This is a Thinkware dash cam F200 Pro. Very nice professional install. They did a good job on that. Looks like it was uh, serviced at Subaru. 88295 mileage 23 164. So it just had an oil change. Wow, this shifter is great. Wow. No joke. I <laughs> I kind of want this, guys. Don't worry, I'm not going to rev it very high. I know the engine is cold. Air compressor kicked right on. And yeah, that's that's immediately cold. Important window. Everything should work on this, guys. Everything. This, this is nice. I can have some fun with this. I could have, I could have a lot of fun with this one. See how the clutch feels. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Shifter feels really, really nice. E-brake works. I don't see any of the books. That's all right, though. People people make too big of a deal over these things having books. Steering feels absolutely great. I got a bit on this one. Yeah, I, I got a bit on this. Um, what would I do with that? I, I, I have no idea, guys. No idea at all. Those pipes are absolutely ridiculous. They're, they're massive pipes. See if we can pop this, pop this trunk. Nope, doesn't want to open. Maybe uh, is there a push button for it somewhere? There's your traction control. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. You got your seat warmers. Let's see if we can. Doesn't seem to want to pop from there either. Come on, do it to it, man. It may be because it's running. That's fine. Is there not a, uh, that's for your gas. So there's probably a push button for the trunk somewhere and I'm blind as a bat, I guess. I'm just 
not seeing it. That's all right. It's not that important. Is there an? Uh, how about an unlock button? Could we? Could we unlock the doors? I'll bet the trunk opens now. Oh wait, hold on. What's in the floor over here? <laughs> hold on. Yeah, there we go. It was just because it was locked. We have Subaru Jin Yuwine Certified Automatic Transmission Fluid HP. We also have Subaru Genuine Certified Synthetic Motor Oil. We also have <laughs> Subaru Genuine. <laughs> it says that on the bottle. Oh, my hands are covered in brake fluid. That's great. Yeah, it, it literally says that on the bottle. Certified Genuine. And here's the cost. Here's the receipt for all of this. What was it? $60.19. Wow. $60.19. And Wow. 60 bucks. I wonder what the date is on this. Well, uh, 4 of 2023. April of 23. That's this year. No kidding. All right. But that's not all. Hold on. We have more. Let's move back here. And let me guess, we have Subaru Certified Genuine rain -X. <laughs> windshield washer fluid. Okay, that's, that's not certified Subaru. But we do have some, well, Subaru Professional Genuine Super Coolant. Super, it's, it's super coolant, guys. Well, hey. No hate here, man. The guy or gal wanted their car to only have the best. They wanted it to have the factory fluids and, and nothing wrong with that. But, uh, no. No. Very rarely will you see me spend $60 on a quart of transmission fluid, a quart of oil, and a little container of brake fluid. That is, uh, that is not something you'll see me do very often guys so what do you think of the little subi i like it i do i like the little car it's going to need a little work as far as the hail damage i don't know you know maybe fix it maybe not i could send it to a pdr place and see what they think it would cost to actually get the hail damage out of it of course you got that bumper to contend with i don't know could you fix it maybe maybe that bumper could be patched up and saved i don't know how much a bumper for this goes for it would be much easier just to find one in the same color and replace it that would be the that would be the easiest thing to do and then you know hail damage is just one of those things it's hard to tell without getting a professional's opinion on it and also the sun is not fully out yet so it's really hard to see how bad the hail damage is is it heavy on the sides or is it mostly contained to the top see i can i can actually see plenty of hail damage over here see this is one that probably cost It'd probably cost thousands of dollars to get that hail damage fixed. Depending on what the price goes for, you know, it might be worth it. And then again, it it absolutely might not be worth it. What do you guys think? For $1,125, I think it's a steal of a deal. In fact, it's such a good deal that I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a bid on it. Let's go ahead and bring this up to, uh, let's do $1,800. We'll just see what happens. Confirm. Cha-ching. Are we winning it? Oh, we're outbid. Let's bid a little higher. Let's do... Let's do 2900 I like this car, guys. It's totally worth this, and probably a whole lot more. Are we winning it this time? Come on. Outbid again. Twenty nine twenty five. Okay, let's do a little bit more. I don't want to do too much. Let's do 3500 And let's see if we can get it this time. We're winning it. <laughs> We're winning it for $3,125. All right. I'm satisfied. Now we can move on. So I'm walking around and I just happened to see this old Ram 1500. Sorry, Dodge. It's a Dodge Ram 1500. It's in, well, unfortunately, it's, it's in pretty rough shape. But I just wanted to take a quick peek at it. 
I'm wondering if this was stolen or... Yeah, I don't know. Welcome home, Rylan. Raylan? Raylan? It actually... It's not horrible, guys. It's got a lot of junk and stuff in the back. We love you. So probably, I don't know, maybe a... Oh, it's, it's locked and the windows are down. Maybe this was a kid, you know? Maybe this was their kid who came back from college or something. I don't know. But the truck, I love this generation. I really do. Unfortunately, the whole thing is... Oh, here we go. We can actually get in this side. I don't know what's... Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, this was rough, man. Does it even have windows? Hold on, let's, let's take a peek. I don't know. No, there's no windows. Somebody must have busted the windows out. Uh, there's no dashboard either. That's long gone. There is money though. There is money and like jewel refills in there. This is a, uh... yeah, this is pretty rough guys. This is pretty rough. We'll, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll go ahead and pass on this one. But anytime I see an old gen Ram like this, I gotta stop and look at it. I really do love the body style. I love the look of the trucks. And uh, they, they don't hold up the best over time, but I don't know. Still something that is kind of a favorite of mine. Here's something else I really like. A 2014 F-150 Platinum. Yeah. Should be the 3.5 EcoBoost, probably 20 inch wheels and tires. And this color, I don't know what it looks like to you on camera, but in person, it looks brown. But then when you really get up close to it and you see the light shining on it, it's a high metallic and it almost looks maroon. It, it's a really, it's a really interesting and unique color. It definitely goes from brown to high metallic, kind of a deep maroon looking color. This is a hail damaged truck. It's got hail all over it. Now, hey, this is this is something that I had a lot of people call me out for. At least they, they thought they were calling me out in the comment section um, over my personal vehicles being hail damaged, which by the way, we still have no update on those yet. We're still trying to figure out if the insurance company is going to cover the cost. And right now, like the PDR shop is going back and forth with the insurance company and they're arguing over, over the cost. And I still don't know what's happening. The Impala, well, nothing has happened with the Impala. Insurance adjuster came out, they assessed the damage, they gave a number, and I've never heard anything back from the insurance company through my dealership. So I've got separate insurance. You know, my cars are insured through one insurance company. My business cars are insured through another insurance company. So uh, unfortunately, my business insurance has not been, uh, they've not been very quick to communicate. And I had a lot of people saying, why don't you just drive your cars with hail damage? You claim, like I'm too good for a hail damaged car, right? That's what people are saying. You claim that hail damage doesn't bother you, yet you filed an insurance claim on both of your hail damaged cars. Let me, let me try to explain this so that people understand. If I bought this truck today, hail damaged, I literally am paying a discounted price for this truck because of the hail damage, right? It's sitting here at the auction and it's going to go for less money than you could buy the same truck for on a dealer's lot if it had a clean title and no hail damage. Okay, so I obviously, if I were to buy this truck, I don't know what it's worth. Let's say this truck is worth 10 grand at the auction, but it'd be closer to 20 with a clean title on a dealer's lot. So here's the deal. If I buy this from auction right now for 10 grand, I'm buying it with the hail damage, understanding that I'm getting a $10,000 discount on the truck because of the hail damage. Therefore, I don't mind driving it with hail damage. I bought it that way. I got a discount on it for the hail damage. Meanwhile, if I were to go buy this same truck from the dealer and I pay $20,000 for it, and then a hailstorm does this to my truck, am I going to continue paying retail price with interest and everything for a truck that is no longer worth anywhere near what I'm paying for. Absolutely not. 
That is why we have insurance, ladies and gentlemen. For those that don't understand, because if there were several people in the comment, more than I, I really could have imagined, were in the comment section saying, oh, he says that he'd drive a hail-damaged vehicle, but he's obviously too good. He thinks he's too good to drive a hail-damaged vehicle, or he would be driving his own cars with hail damage. No, guys. That's not the case at all. No, I do not think I am too good to drive a hail-damaged car. I'm very thankful that I have the vehicles I have, all of them. The old ones, the new ones, the ones with hail damage, and the ones without. I love my vehicles, but it makes no sense to continue paying top dollar retail prices for vehicles that are now riddled with hail damage. You'll never get the value back out of them covered in hail damage. Never. If I took those cars back to the dealership, it's like, hey, I want to trade these in. They're going to look at me and be like, are you joking? Now, you, you can't do that. You can't go and expect to get, you know, good money back out of hail damaged vehicles. So that's the reason I filed the claims is because I bought my vehicles without hail damage and I want them to be returned back to the same quality that they were before the hail damage, that's it. And if they can't be brought back to original quality, then they need to be sent to the salvage auction. You know, that's just the way I feel about it. And you're kidding me, someone really locked it, they did. Great, I really wanted to look at this truck. I, I really wanted to look at this truck and somebody, that's not an accident, guys. People come out here and they do this. Um, mileage 167. It's a run and drive, of course, obviously. It was probably running and driving just fine before the hail damage. Yes, the whole body is riddled with hail damage, but if I bought this truck in this condition, I would happily drive it with the hail damage. I don't care, I don't care. I just wouldn't buy this truck for 20 grand on a dealer's lot and then drive it around with hail damage and not get compensated for the damage to the truck, which is what I carry insurance for. This is what I pay for. And to the people that say you're gonna end up with, with uh, your insurance canceling you. Guys, I've had the same insurance company, I mean, for years and years and years. They helped me every step of the way and they assured me my rates would never go up because of something like hail damage. They consider it an act of God. So even though all of my vehicles are hail damaged, my roof had to be replaced, I'm not paying a dime extra for it. Now, I really wish we could have got into this truck. I really wanted to see it, but apparently somebody wants it more than us, and they locked the keys in it so that we cannot access the interior. Now, I've had a few people asking me about the vehicles that I've currently got listed at Copart. My 2003 Chevy SSR and my 2012 Ford F-150. Guys, both of those are doing relatively decent. The auction starts for me in just a few hours. For you guys, by the time you see this video, the auction will be over. Um, I actually like this. I, <laughs> uh, I'm getting sidetracked here. But um, currently, the current bids, since you guys are very interested in how they're doing, the uh, Chevy SSR is at $13,400 which, you know, I was really hoping someone would buy it now for 16 because you can't buy it for 16 anywhere else, and it is a clean title. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I've got an offer on hold right now of $14,000 through Copart. So we're gonna hold on to that offer. We're gonna see how the auction does. And if the auction doesn't bring over 14,000, then I can just accept that 14,000 and be done with it. You gotta remember guys, I paid, I think it was 10 grand. I think I paid $10,000 for that Chevy SSR. So yeah, 14,000 isn't the greatest, but if that's what it brings, that's what it brings. And my 2012 F-150, the stolen F-150 that was delivered with no wheels and no tires, guys, that one is at almost $6,000 right now. So both of them are doing relatively well. Now, let's move on to, ooh. Wow, what happened? That's, uh, boy, that is, that is kind of nasty. <laughs> that's kind of really nasty, but it's got, it's got power, and surprisingly, it smells like shampoo. It smells like soap. That is that is bizarre. It smells like soap. This is State Farm Insurance. I wonder what it's here for. These trailblazers run forever, guys. Like, no joke. It runs forever. This is an LT, and it's got the original 
Bose touchscreen radio. I've never seen this radio in one of these before. This is factory OEM, and I can't believe I can't believe it's actually in here. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on, maybe this isn't factory. Man, you guys comment below. I think it is. I could definitely be wrong. Air conditioning is ice cold. I swear I hear a tapping from the engine. We have a service engine soon light. The brake light goes off when you turn the e-brake off. The whole interior of this thing is nasty and sticky. It is four-wheel drive. Does it work? It does. It appears the four-wheel drive works. At least the, uh, the switch works. You have memory seats. But I, I definitely hear a uh, I definitely hear a noise from the engine. You know, I think that may just be the fan, or maybe an idler pulley, a tensioner pulley. It it's more. There it is. There it is. No, I think that's engine. Hear that? I think that's internal. Important window? Yes, hey, it may have a blown engine, but the important window works. You know what I mean? Tires are at the end of their life, still usable, but uh, this is gonna be hail damage, is what this is. Oh, wow, hey, there's a shroud missing here. It's the fan, I think. I do. I think it's the fan rocking around under there. We better close this. I don't think that fan is fully installed. <laughs> I think that fan is loose. Oh, listen to it. Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't think that's engine related. I think that's the fan. So, you know, this one's a little rough. It's definitely a little rough, but truthfully, even though the tires are at the end of their life, it really doesn't look that bad. Yes, it's got hail damage. Yes, the interior's a little, you know, ick. But uh, overall, if you're looking for a cheap vehicle, this is it right here, man. This is it. This is something you could probably drive right on out of here. Uh, I noticed the back bumper is, you know, sagging a little bit. Looks like something, something happened. Oh. Isn't that supposed to be solid? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's rough, okay? It's rough. But if you're desperate for a vehicle and you don't have a lot of money, this one right here would be one that I would pick all day long. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos. If you enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up button and drop your comments down below. Hopefully we win something today, guys. I'm really excited. I've been on a couple cars. I want to see if we can win that Subaru and maybe that Saturn. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not currently subscribed, I would appreciate that as well. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.